The headlines. Warnings of a heat apocalypse in Europe as fires and now drought menace the continent. Up in the woods, you can see guys tackling the fires. There's a huge amount of activity down here and it is hot, it is smoky. Just look at the haze in the trees. In the UK, the worst is yet to come. Tuesday could be the hottest day since records began. A Chinese filmmaker appears in court in Malawi, charged with child exploitation following an investigation by the BBC. And the sentencing phase of the trial of Florida school shooter begins. Nicholas Cruz pleaded guilty to gunning down 17 people at his former high school. At least 20 people, most of them women and children, who did not know how to swim, died when their boat capsized in the Indus River in central Pakistan. The overloaded vessel was ferrying more than 100 members of an extended family to a wedding. The bridegroom was among those who were rescued. It's not clear if the bride survived. In the UK, four candidates remain in the Conservative leadership race to replace Boris Johnson as Prime Minister. Tom Tugendhat was eliminated in the latest round of voting. Of the four that remain, the former Chancellor Rishi Sunak tops the polls, followed by Penny Mordaunt. The final two will be whittled down by Wednesday before Conservative Party members decide the winner. In the US, the jury selection has begun in the trial of Steve Bannon, the former close aide to Donald Trump. He faces charges of criminal contempt of Congress for refusing to cooperate with the investigation into the storming of the Capitol by Trump supporters last year. Sri Lanka's acting president, Ranil Wickremesinghe, has said the country's negotiations with the International Monetary Fund over an emergency bailout are nearing conclusion. There's been no comment yet from the IMF. Parliament is scheduled to elect a new president on Wednesday. Protesters are against Mr. Wickremesinghe, who they consider to be too close to the family of the former president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa.